Do you need to speed up your e-commerce website? Speed is crucial for the success of your online store. It not only improves customer experience, but it also helps with sales and conversions. And who doesn't want more of that? So in this video, I'll walk you through 14 tips on how you can speed up your e-commerce store to help improve with performance and conversions. Hey there, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. We'll cover a lot of tips today. So all the links that I mentioned, you can find them in the description below. So let's dive in. And number one is going to be just choose a better e-commerce hosting provider. Now, with all the other tips that I tell you, if you don't implement this one, it doesn't mean anything because your e-commerce store is going to be with a slow hosting provider. That's the same thing as if you have a slow computer, nothing else you do on your computer is going to help speed it up because you started with a slow computer. And not all WordPress hosting providers are the same. You want one with a stable and up-to-date platform to host your e-commerce store. It want, you want it to be optimized for WordPress, WooCommerce plugins, as well as any other third-party plugins that you might want to put on your site. Their servers are optimized for speed and performance. And this means that they have built-in caching, they have security and other features to improve the performance right from their server. And that's why we recommend SiteGround. They are one of the officially recommended hosting providers on WordPress.org itself. At WP Beginner, we have moved all of our sister products over to SiteGround and then WPBeginner.com actually moved over in 2020. And then personally, I moved all of my sites over to SiteGround in 2017. So if you want to read more about the process of when WP Beginner moved over their site, you can read it in the description below. They we outlined the whole process. Now SiteGround servers are run on the Google Cloud platform and and this is known for performance and durability. They have built in caching. They even have their own optimization plugin that automatically implements many of the performance tips that I'll talk about later on in this video. And then after getting started with a solid hosting provider, then you can implement some of these other next tips to improve the performance even further. Number two is you want to install a WordPress caching plugin. WooCommerce is a dynamic e-commerce platform. And that just means that all of your products are stored in a database. When somebody accesses the product page, they're dynamically generated when a user visits. So to do this, WordPress needs to run the same process each time and that can definitely slow down your site. But with a caching plugin, you can help fix that. Instead of generating the pages each time someone comes to your website, a, a caching plugin will show the user a cached version of the HTML page. This will free up your server to do other resources and it allows you to run more efficiently, which means it will improve the website loading time. Now there are some great caching plugins out there, but then there are also some of the hosting providers that automatically add caching, such as SiteGround or Bluehost. They offer their own types of caching plugins. But if you're not going to use that, or if, if you want to step it up even further, then you can use something like WP Rocket, which is the best WordPress caching plugin on the market. And it's the most beginner friendly for all of their settings. And the cool thing about WP Rocket is they don't wait for users to visit a page to generate the cache version. Instead, it will automatically prepare a cache version of your website and it'll keep it up to date for you. The cool thing is with the right WP Rocket settings, you can easily get near perfect scores in some of these speed test tools like Pingdom, GT Matrix, and even Google PageSpeed Insights. Check out the link in the description below for the detailed instructions on how to set up WP Rocket for your WordPress website. And I mentioned that SiteGround and Bluehost, they offer their own caching version as well. SiteGround has a plugin called SG Optimizer that I use and it'll allow you to turn on caching on your e-commerce store just by using their plugin. And then if you're using something like Bluehost, they also offer its own, their own built-in caching system. Tip number three is you wanna make sure that you're using the latest PHP version. This ties into your hosting provider. You wanna make sure that you're with a hosting provider that offers the most up-to-date version of PHP. With each new version, PHP just improves their performance and it becomes even faster. It also will fix bugs and patches security issues. Now, if you want to know which version you're on, you can log into your store. You can go to tools, go to site health. Then you need to click on the server section to expand it. And then you'll be able to see the PHP version of your particular server. If your website is running on a PHP version lower than eight, then you'll want to reach out to your hosting provider and ask them to update it for you. Like I said, you can't do it yourself. And then note some managed hosting providers like SiteGround, they have their built in their own built in ultra fast PHP, for instance, to improve the overall server time for your website. Number four, you want to make sure that you have the latest WordPress and WooCommerce 
WooCommerce up to date. WordPress and WooCommerce developers, they spend a lot of time improving the performance during each development cycle. And this makes both apps run more efficiently and use fewer server side resources. Now each new version, it'll also fix some bugs and strengthen security, which is crucial for an e-commerce business. Now, as a site owner, it's your responsibility because you are on wordpress.org that you have the ability to do whatever you want with your site. But then the other side of that is you also have to do the maintenance of your site. So you want to make sure that you are updated to the latest WordPress, the latest WooCommerce plugin, any other plugins that are on your site. You just go into your dashboard, look under updates and see if there are any red notifications that you need to update your items. Number five is to optimize product images for performance. This is huge, especially for a store, an online store or something, because the product images are very crucial in being able to sell to your users because they want to see it. They can't touch it, so they need to see as many pictures as they can. The problem is if you don't optimize the images before you upload them, then they can bog down your site. We cover this extensively through many of our tutorials, video and articles. If you want to check out in the link in the description below on what you can do. But the biggest thing you want to do before you even upload any images to your site is to go ahead and optimize them locally. You can use software programs like Photoshop or GIMP for a free alternative affinity designer you can use as well. And you can do something like export as and best for web, and this will compress it even more. Plus you want to make sure that you're using the proper format of your image. For instance, the JPEG is best for multiple variations in color, whereas a PNG will be good for probably products with a transparent background. Number six is you want to use a DNS level website firewall. You've probably heard many times you have brute force attacks or DDoS attack and they're common internet nuisances, but basically hackers are just trying to overload the server so that they can break in and steal and install malware on your site. Now, common WordPress firewall plugins, they'll run on your own web server. And this makes it a little less efficient simply because they can't block suspicious activities until they reach your server. And so on the other hand, when you have a DNS level firewall, they are able to filter out the traffic on the cloud and block the suspicious events before they reach your website. Now we recommend Securi. It's the best WordPress firewall plugin out there, and it has a great comprehensive security suite that goes along with it. They also come with a powerful CDN or content delivery network where it serves your website static items like your images, style sheets, JavaScript. Those things don't change very often and they will deliver them on a global network around the world. This will further reduce the server load time and improves the overall site load speed of your website as well. Now, if you're looking for a free option, that's always available. You can use the Cloudflare free CDN. And what's cool about that is that is integrated directly into SiteGround. If you want to take a look in your SiteGround dashboard and you can turn that on from there, it gives you some basic level DNS firewall protection. Number seven is you want to choose a better WordPress theme. WordPress themes control the appearance of your e-commerce store, but not all of them are optimized for performance and they often add too much clutter that will make your website slower. Now, when choosing a theme for an e-commerce store, you need to find the balance between functionality and speed. Some themes, they like to add sliders or carousels. Maybe they add web fonts or icons and just know that those things, while they look good, they will slow down your website even more. So that's why we recommend going with a simple theme and then using plugins to do whatever you need to do for your website. Now, WordPress themes like say StudioPress, Elegant Themes, or Astra, all of these are going to be optimized for performance. Number eight is to use better WordPress plugins. One of the questions we get all the time is, how many plugins can I use on their store without affecting performance? And we say as many as you like, because there's the total number of plugins is not going to affect the performance of your online store. It's the quality of the code and those plugins that you have to look at. You can have one plugin that is coded improperly and it will take down your whole website versus we have 50 plus plugins on WP Beginner and it is one of the fastest sites out there. And so if you have a well coded plugin, it's going to have standard best practices and it's going to minimize the performance impact on your website. That's why we recommend testing out the plugins to see what the impact is before you actually use them. And then we also maintain a whole list of must have WooCommerce plugins 
if you want to see the handpicked essential plugins that you want to use for your store. Number nine is you want to reduce the external HTTP requests on your website. Now a typical e-commerce page, it contains several components. For instance, you'll have images, CSS files, JavaScript. Each component is separately loaded and the user's browser makes an additional HTTP request to the server. The more requests you have, the longer the page load is. Now your server is also fetching all these things from third parties like Google Analytics, social media retargeting, or like a Facebook pixel and other services. These are all calling HTTP requests as well, and they can make it take even longer to load your page. Now it's okay to have these scripts on your site, but if they are affecting your overall performance, then you need to consider reducing them or finding ways to combine them in a way that doesn't slow it down. Number 10 is you want to reduce database requests. At the very beginning, we've talked about how WordPress and WooCommerce, they store a lot of the data in a database. And then your WordPress theme and your plugins, they also make database queries to fetch and display the information in a certain way on your website. And database queries are very fast and your website can do hundreds of them in mere milliseconds. But the problem is when a website is handling a traffic spike, then those queries can slow down your page load time. So you can check the database calls by using a plugin like Query Monitor. And once you activate it, the plugin will add a Query Monitor menu to the top of your admin bar so you can see just how many admin queries are happening on your site. Number 11 is to optimize your WordPress database. It's just like with your computer, the more you add on to it, the more it gets clunky and you might have clutter, older things that you don't need anymore, but that just builds up and collects in your database. From time to time, you'll want to optimize your WordPress database just to declutter unnecessary information. You can install something like WP Sweep plugin. Once you activate it, you can go into tools, sweep, and you can clean your WordPress database. Number 12 is you want to use staging sites to track performance issues on your website. Making changes to a live e-commerce store can be a little daunting. You don't want to cause a customer to lose their order or your site go down because you're making a few tweaks on a live site. So this is where a staging site comes in. It helps you easily try out performance optimization tips that we're talking about. Say new plugins, you can try new themes, all without affecting the live store. So what's cool about it is it will take a complete snapshot of your live site and puts it on an, in an area where nobody else is going to access it. Many of the popular WordPress hosting companies out there do staging. SiteGround does it as well. Tip number 13 is you want to offload e-commerce emails. So emails play a very important role on an e-commerce store. You use them to deliver your confirmation emails. You get invoices, maybe a password reset, sales and marketing messages, and so many other things that you can do. But beginners don't realize that if you're using your hosting provider's limited email functionality, then you're going to have an issue because most hosting companies, they don't support the default WordPress mail function. Some might even disable that because they don't want spam and abuse happening on their servers. And this is why you want to do something like a use something like a dedicated SMTP email service provider, along with something like WP Mail SMTP plugin. And SMTP simply stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, just a way to transfer emails out there. We recommend using something like SMTP.com. It's one of the best SMTP service providers for transactional emails. So if you're sending a lot of transactional emails, hey, this is your order. Hey, we have an update on your order. This is your shipping. You know, those are all the transactional emails that go along with an e-commerce store and SMTP.com does a great job of providing all of those for you. It's easy to set up and it works with WooCommerce as well as all the top contact form plugins out there. Now, if you're looking for maybe an alternative, then something like Send in Blue or Mailgun, they're also great for transactional emails on your website store. And number 14 is to use better conversion rate optimization tools. So when it comes to e-commerce website, conversion rate optimization is the name of the game and it is important for increasing your sales. A typical online store might have a lot of dynamic elements that increase conversions. We're talking things like a free shipping bar on the homepage, Maybe you have a Black Friday sale countdown, timer, website header, exit intent pop-up. Many online stores, they use a combination of these tools and plugins to add these dynamic elements. Three of the big plugins that we use on all of our product sites are OptiMonster. That's our sister company, but it's the most powerful conversion optimization tool that lets you create personalized pop-ups. You do gamification campaigns, you can do floating bar and a lot more on your site. You can also use something like live chat. 
is the best live chat software that you can put on your site. They also offer a chat bot so you can automate the software that works for WooCommerce as well as Shopify. And then finally, you can do something like Trust Pulse. It's the best social proof software on the market. And what's cool about it is you can show, you can use it to show real time user activity without slowing down your site. And if you're looking for a really cool way to customize your WooCommerce checkout, make sure you watch this video from SeedPro where they walk you through step by step on how to customize your WooCommerce checkout page for WordPress. And thanks for watching.